Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Seth. This is Dark Season 1, Episode 10, Alpha and Omega, Beginning and End. Now, I just watched Episode 9 about 15 minutes ago. Had a short little lunch break. Threw some caffeine into my body. I'm jumping straight into Episode 10. Haven't edited, haven't rewatched 9. Nothing. Uh, yeah, thoughts are back there somewhere whenever that video comes out. I don't know. Alright, we're at the end. I'm going to try to pay attention, take it all in, see where it goes. Season 1, Episode 10, Alpha and Omega. Here we go. The day of Mickle's disappearance. And we did, damn, the show started after, no, Obendorf was disappeared. We saw a little bit of Mickle, then he disappeared into the cave. Okay. Yeah, we thought he was going to get blowjobs over here in the trailer, but... Was it something different the day that Mickle went away? I've got dust on my screen, but I don't want to touch it. Press there, save me. Hail Mary, I'm so... yeah. Oh. Yeah, but that mantra, like, oh, wait a minute, we're seeing this, wait a minute. Event Horizon up in this bit. Oh, right, that's, that's Ulrich's brother from the past that got sent to the, right? So was... Was he straight up expecting this to happen? Yeah, no, 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 yeah. So we're showing how they conspired or how this all got... Yeah, right, he's looking at his son from the past. Like, his son disappeared, and then, like, he was put on ice, and they just thawed him out and dropped him at his feet now. He's like, what the fuck? Who is coming up on them? Yo, what the fuck? Claudia! Uh, does she think they're responsible, or does she know they're not? Or, like, does she involve them? Here we go. <laughs> Thank you for the translation. I I wasn't sure. The dates I'm a little hazy on. The years I've got good, but the dates whose hand? Hello? I, I was not a fan of uh, that at all. <laughs> what I was saying was, I don't know if the 12th is before Mikkel disappeared, the day, Mikkel, the day after, like, the, the, the days around it I'm a little hazy on. I know you're supposed to just jam through this and power through, and I have not been doing that. This is the closest I've done to that, which is watching two episodes 15 minutes apart. It was a mistake when I did Westworld, we'll see about this. Oh, settling for Bartosh. Ugh. <laughs> Nothing against Bartosh, it's just... <laughs> We've seen people run past that, uh... I don't know if that's a, a hunting outpost, treehouse, uh, ob observation site for birds, like, I don't... We've seen a bunch of characters run past there, or be up there, at different times. Waka waka. Oh, shit. Confronting her about bad, which was Mickle, <laughs> future boy. Thanks, Grandma. I was asking if he burnt the map or burnt something, I wasn't sure. Yo, did young Eins have a, a wart? Because that is out of control, or a mole, because it has gotten bigger. <laughs> I think the radiation turned her, did a Godzilla on her freckle, you know? Oh my god. Ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sweet home Germany, Bama. The knowledge. The bliss from the ignorance. Yeah, it's weird that Jonas even exists because his dad is a time traveler. It's like a Reese, John Connor thing. I mean, I gotta figure, every time he comes back to the present, the other people are running. Okay, I guess she did have it, it just wasn't as prominent. 
See, he has a scratch on his chin, and when Ulrich was looking at his brother's corpse, he was talking about a chin scratch. I know that's probably not related, but I think it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Unicorn. I'm rooting for him, even though I he grows up and has Jonas and then hangs himself. Are... Well, well, yeah, that, yeah, that English, that sudden English, fucking warped my head. I wasn't ready for that. Was it? It was one of the songs playing when he was at the house giving him shit. There better be pictures of Ulrich from '53 in the present, in a in a vault somewhere in an old box. Yeah, right. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute. Yeah, you're armed with knowledge, dude. You don't don't be the one. Don't call some shit. No, she told you what she knows. She didn't tell you everything. You don't talk about Mikkel that way. Oh, Bartaj fucking took that momentum and changed it on him. What do you, what do you think they're doing? Yes. He's like, dude, don't make out with my aunt, aunt. How do y'all pronounce that word? Sie haben ihn repariert. Das ist ihr Rad. Und das ist meiner. Es ist der selbe Apparat, nur nicht im gleichen Zustand. Verstehen Sie? So if he scratches the past one, the future one should also get scratched. Den Beginn und das Ende einer Sache gleichzeitig betrachten. So does Claudia get one of those? Oh shit. Beginning is the end, the end is the beginning. He talked about that a lot. Now, the lady brought you the schematic, though, when you were younger, right? Cesium? Cesium, Adam? Yeah, Cesium, what the fuck? Doing micro black holes, just doing flashes. She knows too much. <laughs> it's weird to think Helge's back at the place where, uh, or, or frequents the place where he was almost beaten to death and stashed. Yeah. <laughs> He's here to run interference. <laughs> Are we trying to change things now? Uh, that's fucking crazy to think about. Yeah. Yeah. Stop yourself. How do you stop yourself? The dad's art studio. That we only saw briefly in the first episode, I believe. Yeah, that's probably where the rope was, eh? Think so. <laughs> oh, Claudia's pulling the strings on them. But what is Claudia trying to get out of this? I'm trying to figure it out. Something happened to Regina, or something happened to her family, but we haven't seen anything that bad, right? Don't say that. All of a sudden, people are different relations and connections. I can't, I'm barely, I'm barely grounded on this season. Like, <laughs> Is he talking about Jonas? I mean, alternate older Hellgate tried to uh, tell him to, this is all bullshit and blah 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 blah, but. 
Jonas Kahnwald. Fuck you, man. Well, because he's got access to everything. But so does Claudia, so... Or maybe he is to do something that fucks... I don't know. I don't know. Alright, this is young Charlotte documenting the birds. Well, that's weird, because, like, he young Helge in 53 thought that the dead birds were beautiful, too. Yeah, you can't save them when they're... <laughs> Damn, we're going down that road. <laughs> We've been going down that road. What does she remember? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Boosh. 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 They seem to be convinced he's a child murderer and they made threats to him, so does, uh, does Ulrich stop? Does, does his life end here in 53? Does he have an unfortunate accident? Oh, shit. Slash, yeah. Oh my god. Oh man, this episode is like half-ish way over too, so th this ain't the end. Get the fuck out of here, Noah. Get the fuck out of here. This is, is this why he targeted him, or is he here now to get him? Shit, there's my answer. <laughs> We're in the room. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wasn't me, dude. Yeah, exactly. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Fuck. Mein Name ist Jonas Kahnwald. Das, was du erlebst, habe ich bereits erlebt. Wow, yeah, I've, I've already... Uh, I didn't think he looked 33 years older than Jonas, though. That's why I never thought that he would be him. You'll see. You'll see. Ich nicht herauslassen, weil du dann nicht zu dem wirst, was ich heute bin. Verändere ich jetzt meine Vergangenheit, verändere ich auch meine Gegenwart. Und dann kann ich dieses Loch nicht ein für alle Mal zerstören. Jetzt mir geht zurück. That's why when he had the conversation about Mikkel, he was like, you can't do it, and he was very invested. I said he seemed to be like his life was on the line, because it is. From the other seasons? Come on, man. We're not there yet. We're not then yet. Man. <laughs> now I feel like I need to rewatch the whole first season after this ends, which I don't have the time for that, but holy shit. You're the guinea pig. But wait a minute, everyone that gets put in there gets fried, so he obviously doesn't get scorched, because future Jonas had his eyes. Oh, with maybe... Sh wow, was not expecting. Holy shit. So is this somebody running interference? Or is this just what happened and we're seeing it or or both you know like <laughs> fucking did old helge take him out you know in the car old helge okay you don't notice that his face has the same injuries on it and whatnot dude i mean come to the cabin you better tell someone where you're going so when you don't show up bartaz doesn't have a fucking clue does he Fucking shit. Alpha and Omega, yep. He's the bringer. Yeah, he's not the... He's not saving everything, he's kicking it off. Bartas, why are you here? Yeah, and you're the good guy, right? Mm. Wow. You never trust your grandmother, the time traveler. Now, is this true, or is it just a point of view? <laughs> Alright, so Yodas thinks he's destroying shit right now, please. 
Oh, it showed like a black hole opening up, right? Char this is from the intro cinematic. Like Charlotte coming down into. I thought they were gonna beat him to death. It looks like they just beat the shit out of him. Oh well, shit. <laughs> Damn, Claudio's strapped. Oh right, because he's doing it at the intersection, so it's happening in all times, right? It's about the end of the Spider Verse him into a different version. Yo. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is happening? This could be a bad idea. I mean, they're different people, so it shouldn't matter, the whole occupying time and space. Do not tell me that Jonas is occupying Helge's body. Would Helge be running around in Jonas's body? Like that... Uh... So now he's, he's waking up in the hotel room? Oh, no, 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 that's that room at a different time. I feel like he's going to be trapped wherever he is for the next 33 years, right? Because we don't see him incrementally, we just see... Is this a nuclear winter? Ha ha ha. Like ash? Like a big, big fucking explosion happened? A big problem? Big fire? I mean, the black hole happened everywhere, so is it just going to look like a power plant disaster? Jesus. Is this right after it happened, or is this in a fucking desolate future? Or a desolate present? It doesn't, you know, it's whatever. Remember when no future was written on the ground outside of the power plant? Yeah, we're we're in some Mad Max the Walking the Walking Dead territory right now. Uh <laughs> Scavenger Earth. We got quadcopters now. I mean, okay. Cl That's probably where Claudia from the future was from. Alright, that was the episode number 10, Alpha and Omega. Okay, so I just watched 9 and 10 close together. Ooh, the guy in the yellow... Er, sorry, the guy, we know Jonas, the guy in the yellow... The guy in the shitty trench coat running around the woods has been Jonas. Son of Mikkel, I'm mainly stuck on the idea of if that nuclear explosion happened across all all the times all the timelines or if it was literally just a power disruption in the other people's timelines to blow up the present or yeah you know, because not well the present it's all intersecting where he did it so i don't know i don't know but when he when jonas came out he was in some i mean it had to have happened this way right it always happened this way he's gonna be there for 33 years travel back I mean, Claudia looked like she was, you know, kind of had that same look to her, the same ruggedness, the same get-up, so obviously Claudia, I mean, not obviously, but to me, Claudia is also existing or from that timeline where the disaster happened, although she would be, it would have to be in 86 or earlier if it was Claudia, because Regina, Claudia would have been in the eight. <laughs> The age that Claudia would have been, had she been from the Apocalypse timeline, looked like from 86 on, is what I'm trying to say. So I got this timeline in my head, and these lines, some of them loop, and some of them kind of, whoo, they skew off and do their, like, President Biff Tannen, you know, Back to the Future own little timeline there, their little tangent. Oh, let's see, the description for the episode says, Peter gets a shock true. Jonas learns the truth about his family, himself mostly, uh, but there are more surprises still to come. Yeah, he woke up in Mad Max, Germany edition, and Helge makes a sacrifice. Sacrificed himself via car accident, but 
did that change anything or was that always that seemed to be in the papers like when uh when charlotte was looking at it from the past or from the future from the present fuck from, from previously you know what i'm trying to say there was so much here I, i'm gonna jump around i mean i don't there's no way i can cover everything again i'm not doing a recap of the episode i'm not doing a review i'm not doing a breakdown i'm just trying to see how i feel about these characters and what they've been through yeah Jonas running into charlotte in the woods that's interesting and then charlotte saw the picture of ulrich from 53 all beat up and shit don't know what's gonna happen to him is ulrich just stuck there or did he become somebody in the current narrative and we don't know it's him running around or in 86 but now everything has been nuked is kind of my take on it it's not just like the 2019 place is burning up i, I kind of take it anywhere there would have been a power plant those timelines are fucked so like 86 and on is fucked but they could still go back to 53 is my take on it if you had the time machine and obviously they do the claudia has one mickle or sorry uh jonas eventually i don't know if he still has it <laughs> or if he left it in the cave but you know older him gets a hold of one same one maybe yeah same one right at different different uh levels of modification per earlier i think they said <sighs> this is wild I, I it's a shame i haven't edited nine yet and, and then i know when i edit both of these a lot more will be clear to me and there will probably be more layers uh, revealed or dissected through that i'll be able to hurt my brain with but that is the end of this for now dark season one crazy fucking ride i look forward to season two but as I've been saying, this show, The Leftovers, The Witcher, Westworld, I'm going to give these shows a short break. A little while, just take them out of the rotation. Two new shows coming in with a little bit of Black Mirror, so quicker turnaround time on the remaining shows, plus a little bit of new stuff. But I'm not done with this show at all, and I look forward to season two. But that's going to do it for me for now. Thank you all so much for being here, as always. Uh, I've said it before, I'll say it again, we don't have a time-traveling cave, so th this, is, this is the time we get, so thanks for being here, I look forward to seeing you all again, and uh, maybe in some other videos yet to come, so thanks again, and goodbye.